Hey guys, what's up? It's the Livy Lou 98 show. I'm Olivia and E3 2016 just happened and it was amazing. But seriously, this was a really good E3 and there were so many games that were shown that made me freaking excited. So I'm here to count down my top 10 favorite games from E3 2016. Let's get started. Number 10, For Honor. For Honor is about knights, and Vikings and Samurai. Oh my! I mean, that's all that really needs to be said. You got the Knights, you got the Vikings, and you got them Samurai. I mean, what? What more do you need? What really struck me about this game was the gameplay. The melee combat and the mechanics look really fun, and I honestly can't wait to get my hands on this game. Number nine, Death Stranding. But Olivia, this is Kojima's big comeback. How can this only be number nine? Well, it's simple, really. I'm not the biggest horror fan on the block. Seriously, the piano in Super Mario 64 still gives me nightmares. But I'm still so excited for this game because it's the biggest FU from Kojima and Norman Reedus. I mean, seriously, when Kojima walked out at E3, it was basically, I'm back. <laughs> also, <laughs> his butt is showing. <laughs> Number eight, Modern Warfare Remastered. This one is funny because I hate remasters and I hate Call of Duty, but Modern Warfare is one heck of a game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was so innovative when it came out and I'm so excited to revisit that amazing campaign and that truly wonderful multiplayer with brand new graphics. It's gonna be dope. Number seven. Cuphead. Now this game has been on my radar for the past two years and I'm still so excited for it. The new bosses and platforming levels look so great and that art style, oof, that art style is still just so beautiful. It just makes me want to go watch them silly symphonies. Turn down for what? Also, it looks hard ass, which is refreshing. No! So yeah, I might have to buy an Xbox One for this. Number six, South Park, the fractured but whole. When this game's trailer completely roasted Marvel and DC cinematic universes so accurately, I knew I had to play this game. Yeah, dude, Civil War, you. You get out of my house. Writing is hilarious, the superhero concept looks super cool, and the gameplay actually looks really fun. And it says butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Amy Hennig's new Star Wars game. Now we all hate EA, but admit it, you freaked out when you saw these two Realized seconds of nothing for this game. <laughs> Amy Hennig is one of the greatest minds in gaming. I mean, she directed the first three Uncharted games. That's a damn good track record. So now you're taking one of gaming's biggest geniuses and combining it with the greatest IP of all time, it sounds like it's gonna be awesome, but I'm being cautious as a EA sucks. Number four, Final Fantasy 15. Recently, I've been getting back into JRPGs after being burned so badly from Final Fantasy 13. I pretty much stopped playing the genre until I played Nino Kuni, which reminded me that, oh yeah, JRPGs can be good. Final Fantasy 15 looks like a perfect modernization of the genre without destroying what makes Final Fantasy great and what makes JRPGs great in general. The combat seems really fun, even though it felt a little wonky in the demo, but I imagine that once they get into it, it will make sense. Most importantly, the hair graphics in this game are on a whole other level. Number three, Battlefield 1. Now, I'm really surprised at how excited I am for this game, considering I'm still mad at DICE for ruining Battlefront. You know what? I'd rather watch a 16-hour marathon of Jar Jar Binks and Ewoks being stupid than play one more hour of this unfinished ripoff. However, World War I is such an interesting time period that it hasn't been explored in popular culture since, I don't know, All Quiet on the Western Front. I'm so excited to use the World War I technology like tanks and warplanes, and I'm super excited to play as all the factions. But again, I'm being super cautious because EA is a freaking train wreck. Number two, Spider-Man PS4. My favorite part of E3 is when you watch something at a press conference that makes you go, oh my God. And for me, that was this trailer. I mean, freaking Insomniac is making a game exclusive for the PlayStation 4 of my favorite superhero ever. 
and it looks like they really understood the character and that the gameplay is going to be really fun. I'm really hoping quality-wise this is basically the Arkham Asylum of the Marvel Universe. Number one. Duh, did you really think I could make a list of anything and not include at least one Nintendo game? This game had the best E3 trailer since Twilight Princesses in 2006. It literally brought me to tears. So beautiful! Ever since Treehouse Live, I've been watching hours of people wandering around this game in the demo, and I'm still not bored yet. I'm probably gonna watch more after I'm done with this video. This game looks so incredible that it physically pains me that I have to wait until 2017 to play it. And I know that within the first five minutes, I'll be sobbing, like I've done with pretty much every other Zelda game. Alright, that's it for this video. Let me know which games from E3 2016 have you excited. Also let me know which moments had you laugh, cry, or cringe or who you think won E3. I mean, it was probably Sony, but like, The Legend of Zelda though. Anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and I will see you eventually. Bye. I've fallen and I can't get up.